Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, how was your day yesterday? Um, nice, great day. Yeah, you get a chance to relax. Yeah. Did you go to the cemetery? Did you stay home? What happened? Um, well, by my in my case, uh, we visit uh, a non house. I don't know how I don't, I don't know how you call that in English. A monastery? No, monastery is for women. Uh, for men. Sorry. Um, yeah. What's the name in Spanish? Uh, it could be convento. Convent. Then the same convent. Oh, really. Yep, convent. Okay, so we visit a place of this because I have uh, the superior mother of, of this place is, is, is a patient of mine in my clinic. So she's been inviting me like a um, month and a half ago, like, hey, when are you coming? When are you coming? And it was a great place in Los Planes de Renderos. They got like an old house and they have like trees of Habuticaba. And they make wine. It's interesting. Trees of what? Uh, it's a type of of berry. Mm -hmm. It's from it's from the Amazona, and it's called habuticaba. Oh wow! Okay. It's, it, it's a tree like guayaba or like arrayan when you see the the tree. Mm -hmm. But it's like if it got uh, pompos agne. Yeah, like like acne. Yeah, a lot of, like so a lot the, of pimples. Yeah, so all the tree got a lot of pimples. You can Google it. Put habuticaba. It's it's interesting. I didn't know that we have that in El Salvador. Yeah, I'm gonna look for it right now. Yeah. So the the fruit is from Paraguay, from the Amazonia part. But in this house, they have five tree of five trees of this uh, fruit, and they make wine and they sell it. Oh, or I know. Living. I know which tree this is. It looks like pacum. Caboticaba. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so how nice day yesterday. It's interesting that they make wine from this. Yeah, and it's it's sweet, but it's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Delicious. Okay. Yeah, that's unusual. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. Well, we'll see. We have a couple of people, even though, you know, we don't have a lot, all of the students today. We don't have everyone yet. I think everybody was thinking for the hurricane, maybe the class was going to be canceled or maybe they were hoping the hurricane. They're like, I, I saw the person right in the chat this morning. They, they are not in the group, but they joined the group only to ask, hey, a class is canceled for today? <laughs> 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 yeah, and I say, okay, it's, it's good. At least that way they joined the WhatsApp group, huh? <laughs> so we have the ideas is uh, we're going we're gonna to continue. We've been looking at a couple of things from last week. We're going to continue expanding that, the, the concepts that we have. Um, first thing we want to do is we're going to be going, if you're in your computer, we're at 2.4, okay? We're in 2.4 because last week we had already seen uh, the different uh, models in the past and things like this. Okay. Before we continue, are there any, any questions or anything about the platform or any exercises? Did you have questions? Uh, I might so say, late, sorry to, to, to talk again about this topic, but nobody calls me. I chat this guy, Jason. I don't know if you see it on the group called chat. I put there to this. Uh, Ma'am Elena. Yeah, she, she said somebody was going to to, to but contact nobody calls me. Yeah. So okay. I'm, I'm, but I'm here. <laughs> That's the important thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I hope they call me tomorrow or, or after the hurricane. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Because I saw that they they had put the yeah. uh, Elena answer. She says, "Yeah, we're going to someone who is going to help you or with technical support is going to contact you." But anyway. Okay, I'll, we'll check again with them tomorrow and, and make sure that they do. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anybody else? Have I any? am, mm -hmm. I'm having issues with the platform once again, teacher. And it's especially with the kind of, of questions that you have to write. Because I have done 
I just finished uh, 2.5 NOLA check. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that I'm that dumb to have them all wrong. <laughs> so. You have all of them I wrong? I don't know. All of them. Yeah. Okay. And I already I think that did I made... this point and I just got two wrong. And I don't know why because those are just the, the, the only last options. Just the, the only fourth option. and the five and the fifth one. Okay. So what, what did let's, you, let's take what did a look, Eric. What's, what did you put for the first one, Eric? My friend ignore his problems. Just write the verb. Just a verb, Eric. That's all you have yes. to do is write the verb. Okay. Yeah, I know. Oh, I just have to write the verb? Not yeah. the whole sentence? No. Nope. Oh. It, uh -huh. it just says write the verbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Probably that's why. <laughs> Let me check it out. Uh, let me submit it. Still. <laughs> Ignores. Yeah. Then, oh. the, then you are writing something wrong. Show, share your screen, Eric. Capital letter at the beginning. Let's no. let's see. No, no, no. It's not the beginning of a sentence. It's the word and the. It's the answer. Mm -hmm. Let me check once again. Now it's good. I don't no. know. This platform is kind of crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's just like yeah. It's just like writing, right? It only begin capital letter with the beginning of a sentence. No period mm -hmm. because it's in the middle. But you have yeah. to be careful. You have to be careful with the instructions because they, they ask you for different things. So some in, some of them ask you to write the entire sentence. Others only ask you to put in the word. Others only ask you to put in the complement. So you have to. But it's, it says read the following sentences. Mm -hmm. Notice the words or phrases which are in the brackets. Replace them using the following verbs. Yeah. I and thought that you have to. to yeah, I, I thought that you have to replace the whole the whole thing i you thought the same and i tried uh just at least the just writing only the verb and it works okay there you go okay all right okay this this platform is kind of tricky to me yes <laughs> I, I <think> so <laughs> yes in general in general it changes it mixes it up on you so this is the, the important is that now you have the answer of what you were doing uh, wrong on the platform and then it's just a matter of fixing the platform and making sure you put in the right answers now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody else have any other questions or anything about the platform? No. No? Related uh, to the same topic. The, yeah. I don't understand the answer of the fourth. You don't always uh, aggrav it makes his problem worse, and I put in the blank aggravates. Aggravates. But, yes, and this is probably it. aggravates with s because it's Ruby a always person. follows the recipe. Have you tried? It? Yes, I wrote it with third person. Okay. What number? Fourth. Always. To deal with. No, no. Aggravates, is it double G? Yes. Jing okay. always his problems worse. Mm, try the past tense. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that means that works for you. No. Yeah, it worked for me, past tense. Okay. Okay, it worked. Okay. Yeah. The same with the fifth. There you go. So, all right, well, good. That, that's the idea. That's the idea for the beginning of, of, of the class to make sure that you're advancing in the platform, which is excellent okay. news, that you're getting ahead. And that's good because imagine if we do it and then you do it tomorrow, then you are behind. But this way, you already say, hey, I tried this and it didn't work. And then we have the solution for you here in class to make it easier for you. Okay. All right. So today we're going to continue. We're going to be looking at verbs that go with problems. And what we're referring to is 
specific words that we're talking about. Okay, here I'll share. Welcome. Are often used to come. Okay, and this is part of the exercise from the 2.5. Here we have the word aggravated, avoid, cause, deal with, identify, ignore, run into, and solve. First, do you know what all of these words mean? Do you understand these verbs? Have you heard them before? Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry, which one? Run into. Run into. That means is to uh, face or to, uh, to, to happen to come across a problem. This is run into. So maybe you're doing a project or an activity and then you find a problem. This is run into a problem. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Anybody else? Are all of the other words are okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So this is all of the words that we're using and in reference to the word problem. And okay, so here it's a little hard to see. I think I'm trying to make it. There we go. All right. Let me take a look at here. I'm going to take a picture of this and put it into the WhatsApp so that we can practice it in our groups. Okay. Okay. There's that. And I'll also take a picture of the words that we should be using. Okay. And in our groups, what we're going to do is we're going to try to use our new vocabulary and describe the image. So we're looking at this image. Okay. And we're going to use the words to describe what do we see? What's happening? What's going on? Uh, you know, we're going to use both descriptives uh, about the person, the situation, also this uh, talking about the problems okay so we have the words like aggravated uh, we have the words like caused or deal with identify things like this okay so what are the situation and what's happening in the pictures you guys ready for the groups the situation is he's a lazy guy mm -hmm. he doesn't take care of fixing the problems that his his house has, <laughs> and that's there's what we're a leaking on the roof. <laughs> there's a leaking on the roof. There is smoke coming from the oven, and I think there is spilling water from the faucet. Leaky, leaky faucet. Okay, a leaky faucet. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so go ahead, join your groups, and then we want to use oh, the vocabulary. Go ahead. We want to use the vocabulary to describe the image, describe the problems. Thank you, discuss about the guy <laughs> who's not doing anything by using the, the following no, verbs. Let me remind you, the models may express degrees of certainty, obligation, suggestion. Migrate, avoid, cause, deal with, identify, nerve, run into the soul. Okay. Model auxiliary. I don't know what happened with Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> I think having technical problems, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> Okay, okay, now. No, I just was uh, looking at the picture. Ah, okay. that's good, that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it again. Sorry? Hello? Hello, hi. Hi, hello. Okay, hi. <laughs> okay so Let let's start. The problem what? that I see at the picture is a uh, room into problem with the kitchen. Oh, stuff. 
a stove. 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 A stove. Uh -huh. His addictions. <laughs> He's he running into to, addictions. He needs to deal with everything in the house. Uh, I, would, I would like to be like him. <laughs> you like to be like him? Sometimes, sometimes. I think no, that sometimes you need to, to be a that. little bit. Using <laughs> Just because sometimes you need to be relaxed. That's, that's all. It's not because of his but way of, of life. But inside the house. I don't yeah. think. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to deal with that kind of problems. I he don't know what to, uh, I don't know what to, can you say? There is a blink, uh, how do you say, uh, goteando hay un hoyo? There is a hole blinking, teacher? No, blinking is with, your, is with your eyes. For example, your eyes blink. Uh -huh. That's correct, Sandra. Okay. What is Sandra? I, I haven't heard you. Leakage. Ah, leaking. No. The the verb is leaking, but the yes. the noun is leakage. Isn't uh, it? Okay. So we can describe there is a hole. Leaking or no? Yes, let me see. There is a leakage under his head. Yes, there's that's right. The two there's a leakage because that's the noun, or yes. there's a hole. And what is the hole doing? Leaking, yes. Like, leaking. for example, the, 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 the ceiling is leaking. Ah, that's the ceiling is mm. leaking. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, but the picture. Know. Yeah, okay. this picture. Oh. Okay. So it's hard for me to identify what's in, what's inside the oven. <laughs> All right, maybe a cake. <laughs> yeah, it could be or frijoles, man. <laughs> yeah. Return, Elias. Hello. Elias, are you there? Oh, okay. My 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 microphone was was off. <laughs> okay. Uh, you were mute. You were mute. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I think that the guy is is watching the uh, his 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 program today because he he wants to to what to forget that he has to run into some problems. All right. Yeah. I, I don't know if, I you, if, if you mean what I, I, what I want to say. Yeah, uh, no, I, I think I, you understand I, what I want to say if you... I, I got the idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, I think he's avoiding his problem or okay. he's trying to ignore his problem. Okay, I used two words. I think this guy who's watching the TV is going to solve this this problem of the oven after his TV show. In the WhatsApp group, the teacher put uh, one picture, one picture. Oh, okay. And the first one or the second one? The, um, uh, the, the, Ambos, como se dice, ambos. Both. Both, okay. Both pictures. Okay. Yeah, the pictures that she sent. Uh, there are four, but the the first two ones, that is the image and then um the words. And the verbs. Okay. In this in in this case, these guys I ignore ignore a problem because okay. uh, because. Sorry? Uh, with another problem is the uh, on the roof. Techo is roof. Yes, exactly. Uh, the roof is uh, a lot of work.
Any questions? Okay. Were there any questions? I saw, I'm gonna put a couple of words first um, that I saw that uh, some of you needed for uh, in your conversation and just wanted to make sure that we have those words. Uh, you can see there, we have the words, for example, roof, ceiling, leak, smoke, and overflow. First, let me explain the difference between the roof and the ceiling. When you are outside of your house, on the outside of the house, this is the roof. On the inside of the house, it is the ceiling. So if you look up, this is the ceiling, okay? If you look outside, this is the roof. So that is the ceiling, okay? And the part on the outside of the house, that is the roof. In Spanish, okay. in Spanish it's the same, but in English they're different. Cielo raso is in Spanish. Yeah. Ceiling. Uh, kind of, because it doesn't have to be this, this style. It can be any, but if it's inside, it is the roof. Yeah. It is the ceiling. I got it. The yep. ceiling, I got it. Okay. Then we have a leak. Or a leakage. The leak is the um, when the water comes out, uh, usually by little drops. It goes little drops and drops Leaking. and drops. This is the leak, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there is a problem in the roof. Correct. Because there's a problem, uh, not in the roof, in the oh, ceiling. In, oh, the, in ceiling. the ceiling. In okay. the ceiling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. There's a problem in the ceiling, um, and that it there is a leak. But if we look at the kitchen, okay? And in the kitchen, if you look specifically at the, the sink, at the kitchen sink, then you see this is not a leak. This is an overflow. Oh, the, yeah. over, the overflow is because it's more than can be in, in that container. Or container, more than, mm -hmm. more than can be in the sink. That's why it's the mm -hmm. overflow, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, the other problem, that the big problem that we see is uh, in the oven, there is smoke. Okay, but the TV is good. The TV is working. So he doesn't know because the TV is fine and there's no problems with the other things. So uh, just helping you out with a few of the words that we needed. Are there any other words that you're not sure that you wanted to use? Think Sink is where you wash the dishes, where you wash your hands, or in El Salvador, where we wash the clothes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is under the faucet? That's the sink. Correct. What is under okay. the faucet? That is the sink. Mm -hmm. Okay. La pileta. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the picture, we can say the sink is flowing. Correct. Yes, the sink is flooded. Uh huh. Or it, there's an overflow. Uh, okay. Ah, there is an. Uh huh. An overflow. So both of them are okay. Flooded completely. Overflow is coming out. Mm hmm. Any other words or any other things that you needed? I think we're good. Um, grifo, how do you say it? Faucet. Faucet? Yeah. Faucet. Any, any other ones? Okay. Perfect. 
um, then we, we have the idea of how to describe problems or words that we can use to describe problems. There are many several, there are several different words and they all have a little bit of difference of meaning. The word aggravated uh, from our list means to make it more, more intense or stronger. This is aggravated, okay? Avoid is that you don't want to do, okay? You avoid doing something as you try not to do that activity. Cause is like cause and effect. Cause is the, what starts it or what initiated the problem. This is the cause. Deal with is how is to manage or to face the problem. So when you deal with a problem is that you try to solve it, okay? Before you deal with the problem, you have to identify the problem. That means you have to see what it is and you have to say, oh, this is the problem. Ignore is similar to avoid, okay? Ignore is you pretend it's not there, okay? Run into, okay? Run into is that you, you didn't expect, but you are faced with a problem or you, um, a, a problem happens in a different situation. This is run into. And last, solve obviously is the solution where you fix the problem. Are all the vocabulary words okay? Yes. Yes. Teacher, uh, uh, aggravate, good evening. <laughs> aggravate, can you repeat? Please? Yes, yes, yes. Aggravate is to, to make the problem worse, to make the problem oh, bigger. Like bigger, yes. yes. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Roxana, only this word? Or were there others? No, just that one. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other words? Uh, teacher, now that the we're uh, seeing this this phrase run into, I remember a sentence. Uh, the people said, "We we don't run into each other." What does that mean? We don't see each other. Yeah. Oh, it's like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you run into a person, is that you see a person. If you run into a problem, it's, it's similar to the idea, you see a problem or you identify a problem. Can you, can you give me an example with the problem? Uh, yes, for example, uh, the, uh, for example, with Eric, Eric was doing the platform. He was explaining at the beginning of the class, he was doing the platform 2.5 and he ran into a problem with uh, number two or with, uh, with exercise 2.5 is that this is, he, he faced a problem that he couldn't solve. It wasn't expected. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Or for example, for the, I don't know, the hurricane or the pandemic, you don't expect for your business or for the company, they ran into this, this situation. Okay. Any other words? I, I have an observation. Okay. It's about, it's about the exercise from uh, 2.5. Okay. In number five, I don't know if it's correct to say avoid with an S at the end. In this, yes. No. Well, yes. Ruby always follows the recipe closely to avoids problems when she cooks. Yes, you are correct, and you have to write with S, but the but the correct is without S. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cor the correct is without S, teacher? Correct. When you have in, when you put in a voice, it's, it should not be with S. It should be without S. Ruby always follows the recipe closely because it's she. She follows the recipe closely to avoid, not to avoid problems. Uh, because it's not correct of, uh, 
because of the verb, right? Right, right, for the verb avoid. Mm -hmm. Like, because in this case, uh, we already have the, the follows. So when we already have the previous verb, we don't have to put in this one uh, with an S. Because of the, of the preposition too, right? Correct, because of the preposition too. It's an infinitive. So because it's yeah. an infinitive, you don't use mm -hmm. the S. Made, must be in a base form. Correct. And what, what, what is the number of, of, of the exercise? 2.5? 2.5, that's right. Number, number four. Number five. Number five. Ruby always follows. Yes, Ruby always follows the recipe closely to avoid. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'm, I'm writing it right, right now. Uh, this is 2.5, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, any other questions? No. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Let me make sure I, I write it because many times I think people identify the mistakes and when they don't report in the moment, uh, they then later they never correct them. Module one, uh, avoid. Because sometimes like, uh, like many of you, you are doing the exercise and you know it's correct and you say, no, it's not correct. And it keeps marking it wrong. And sometimes, sometimes it's you and sometimes it's the platform, the person that they made the mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the next part is we're going to be looking at, here we go. I'll share my screen with you. We're going to be looking at models. And here they are used to express degrees of certainty, obligation, advice, and opinions. If you are in the WhatsApp, I already sent it a little bit earlier um, that we should have. For example, it says uh, right after the, the picture and the words, then we should have models with multiple uses. Okay. Uh, in that section right there. Okay. I'm going to show the, the video and then we can see it just so that you can take a moment and we'll read it together here to make sure if you can't see it. In. What's that noise? Different meanings or moods. Okay. So as we can see, we have many different purposes. And what are some of those purposes? Well, as it says, degrees of certainty, uh, degrees for obligation, um, opinion, advice, and so on. So what does that mean? Okay. Well, obligations or certainties are things that are, that you are almost 100% sure on or 100% about. Okay. So when you are certain about something, we use the words, for example, must or can't. Okay. Or you can use the words when, uh, if it's a little bit less, if you're not so certain, then we start using other words like could or might. And then when you're not sure at all, when you think it's like a maybe, a possibility, that's when you use the word may. So we can look at the ones that are here on the screen, must, can't, could, might, and may, and think about it going from 100%, okay, probably down to about, uh, you know, 50% or 30%. That's the idea for the first ones, the degrees. That's why when we talk about degrees is how big, how high, 100% here, all the way down to maybe 0% in some cases, okay? Now here, we have the words for, another words for obligations, advice, and opinions. We use the word should, okay? So should, very common, is used for an advice, not an obligation, okay? so. When you think about, uh, many times, when you think about obligations, we tend to use the words more like must, okay? Uh, like here, it says, do not use must have for obligations, advice, or opinions about the past, okay? This is specifically for the past. 
but we'll go, we'll start with, for example, for the present. So you must study. It's like an obligation, right? Um, if you give a recommendation or advice is you should study, okay? And for, uh, for your opinion, it's also like the word for advice. You could have or should have. Um, this is sometimes used in difference. But many times advice and opinions are similar. They're interchangeable. And we tend to use the word should the most. Okay, I'm going to show you the video. And maybe that'll help you out a little bit to make sure that we understand everything. Can you hear the audio? The model no. Degrees of certainty. Yeah, I can hear. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. Hello. Let me remind you: the model may express degrees of certainty, obligation, suggestion, advice, or opinion. I suggest for you to stay and learn a little bit more. Model auxiliaries express many different meanings or rules. Models can express degrees of certainty. What's that noise? It must be the phone. Almost 100% sure. It might be the phone. Less than 50% sure. It could be the phone. Less than 50% sure. Models can also express obligation, advice, or opinions. You must be on time for the interview. Obligation. It's very cold. You should wear a hat. Advice. Everyone should visit Paris once in their life. Opinion. Use models to write reactions to these situations. You and your friend plan to meet, but your friend never. Okay. And here is what we were talking about. Okay. That is. Uh, Obligation, the first one, okay. Recommendation, the second one. And opinion, the third one. But as I mentioned, if you see the recommendation and the opinion, we use the same one, should and should. But for obligations, we use the word must. Okay. So the, the main words that we tend to use are must, should, and then we have possibilities that we commonly use, which are could, okay? Like could or might are also. Now, many times here, we're gonna take a look, uh, okay? Uh, here it says the TV network should have been more careful, okay? Now this is for the past tense and it's okay. You can use should have in the past. What you cannot use is must have, because must have is not a meaning in the past. It's not like should. Should is in the present or future, but if you put have, it's for the past. But in the case of must, it's not, it doesn't change the time to the past, okay? So you say must or must have, it's still gonna be the same. It's not going to give you a, not, a change in the past tense. Any questions? Okay, so we can we can use uh, must in in negative. Is that what you say? No, no, no. You can't use must have for the past tense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can use should or you can use must or uh, in all of the others, but it's like it says here. Do not use must or must or must not, both of them do not use must or must not have for obligations, advice, or opinions about the past. Okay, I got it now. Okay. Then what do we have to use to make it in the past? Okay. Uh, only you, you we're going to use, you always have shouldn't. to. shouldn't. Okay, yeah. So for example here, I'm certain, the, like if, here's what happens. I'm certain the flashing lights must have caused the seizure, okay? This is it, the difference is that when you use it, it's not an obligation, it's a certainty. Mm. That's what, so the difference is for the meaning. When we're talking about the, when you're talking about a certainty 
how you feel, how much you think about that situation, then it's okay, right? But when you talk about an obligation, it's not, okay? When we talk about an, an obligation in the past, um, which is your question, uh, we tend to use the verb had for had to, okay? This yes, is- uh, I have a question. Yeah, Claudia. Mm -hmm. Uh, why uh, the sentences uh, the TV network should have been more careful is an obligation. Uh, uh, that sentence should be an advice. That's correct. It's an advice. It's not an obligation. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but in or it says the TV the network should have been should have been more careful for depending on what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And the picture and the picture say is an obligation. It's an obligation in this case. Uh, okay. So, for example, like maybe you in your in your job you did an activity or you made an email and the email was wrong or the message was wrong. And your boss says you should have checked. It was your obligation to check the email. It was your obligation to verify the information. This is what they mean by should have. Should have. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Depending on the situation. Correct. And that is probably the most the the most difficult part with models is it really depends the situations. Um, as you can see, we can use should to describe an opinion or to give a recommendation, okay? So we tend mm -hmm. to use many of them in the same ways. We use should or should have or could or could have. And that's what we're going to practice right now. In this moment, we're going to go to our groups. And if you see in the chat or in the in that exercise, we have all of the verbs or all of the models, which is must, must not, can't, could, could not, might, might not, may, may not, okay, and should and should not. You're going to use all of those to make sentences with your partner. So you're going to make a lot of sentences. One more time. If the ones that are in the pictures, it's multi models with multiple uses. You're going to use must, okay. So maybe for, um, I don't know, a... In this case, it's for a degree of certainty. It's not for an obligation. That's where you have to be careful, okay? Because we're not talking about an obligation. It's not like, I must study. No, no, no. This is more like um, Nicaragua must, must be suffering because of the hurricane. It's not an obligation to suffer. It's what I think is my degree of certainty of what I believe. Like when we are trying to apply to a job, maybe like a call center, and they say that it's the must to know an advanced English. Correct. Okay. Well, there, in there, that's an obligation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the degree is, um, if they tell you that you have to know advanced English, then you assume that the, the account must be difficult. It's not an obligation to be difficult but you assume it's difficult. That's what we mean by models because they have different meanings even if it's the same usage. So for you, the idea is you are trying to use the word must as an assumption or an opinion for you, okay? So imagine Marcela has, a, a, I don't know, a five boyfriends. I assume Marcela must be beautiful. If I never saw Marcela, I assume, right? Or she must be very nice or special. This is the idea, okay? But if- uh, Marcela behave. That's right, Marcela, that's right. Uh -huh. But <laughs> imagine Angela. Angela tells me she is the director of a company. I assume Angela must make, must have a good salary. It's not an obligation to have a good salary, but my assumption, my level of my opinion is very high for this to be real. That's the difference between must for opinion and must for obligation. 
when you assume something or when you think about your opinion for something, you can use must when you are positive, okay? The same for must not, okay? So the same, if you think it's something happens, but it's, you know, it's not, it's, it's not going to happen, sorry, then you use must not. Okay, uh, okay. I, I got a little confused about that we cannot use must not have in past. Ah, okay. Because it's not for, you're not going to use it as a past tense. In the chat, I put normally for using it for this, uh, for this meaning, you're going to use the word had when it's an obligation. Not, you're not going to use I must have studied. Okay, I, you're going to use I had to study. Okay, so. Uh, so you're going to change must. We can say like must is. Mm -hmm. You're going to change must. Go okay, you're going to change must have in the past. You're not going to use, but you're going to use had to and the past participle. Oh, perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So we're going to make our groups and we're going to try to make sentences with those words that we have, with those different models. Remember, it's trying to make the idea for what is your opinion, okay? Not for uh, 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 something that has to be done. Okay, so not like I must go to work tomorrow. No, it's not an obligation. We're talking about uh, maybe uh, if we have, I don't know, uh, if we have a lot of rain, then that people <laughs> must, must be cold or something or, okay. All right, let's make our groups and try to make the different sentences, give different opinions that you have. Okay. Hi, are you ready to teach me? <laughs> oh, you teach me. <laughs> uh, for example, this day, this day didn't rain. It must be uh, for what? Mm. Uh, uh, because so, uh, because so, they didn't rain. Okay, so think of it like this, Claudia. If 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 Ernesto is wet, okay, Ernesto is wet because of the rain. You assume Ernesto must be cold. It's not obligation for Ernesto to be cold, but your assumption is he must be cold. The other assumption is Ernesto must not have had uh, uh, an umbrella or he must not have an umbrella, right? Mm -hmm. It's not an obligation to not have an umbrella. It's what your opinion is. This is the difference between an opinion and an obligation for must. Okay, okay. Okay. So, is Maybe. go ahead, Ernesto. Thank you. Maybe you can give an example. Uh, today, uh, it didn't rain. It must be, must be because the hurricane is far or hasn't arrived yet. Exactly. You assume that it didn't rain for this. Not it's an obligation not to rain. Okay. 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 Mm. In Nicaragua, just now. Yeah, oh. that, you're right on that. 
Okay. Teacher, in this case, um, I have, um, I, I didn't understand a lot about, about when we have to use uh, must. Okay, must, must is, okay. Teacher, go ahead and do and explain. Okay, all right. So <laughs> we have, there's different functions for must. And I think the confusion is that you normally use must as an obligation. For example, I must yeah. pay the bills. I must uh, study for the exam. I must whatever. This is normally for obligations. Today, we are not looking at must, the modal verb, as an obligation. We are looking at it as an opinion. This is the way to think of it like an assumption. So for example, imagine Sandra. Sandra is wet, okay? She comes home and she is wet. I have two assumptions. One, Sandra must not have an umbrella. It's not an obligation, but I think, my opinion is that she doesn't have an umbrella because she is wet. My other opinion is Sandra must be cold because it's, it's, it's windy and it's night. This is, I assume, is not an obligation for Sandra to be cold, but I think, okay? It's Teacher. just like an opinion. It's just like an opinion, but it's a strong opinion. It's, it's, okay. That's why it's, it's, we consider it like an obligation, not, okay? Oh, it's okay. Teacher, Teacher so which, which were the other models we should use? It was should, and the other one was? Oh, we have a lot of them. They're, they're in the WhatsApp group, but okay. it's, it's the, the models are, hang on, let me tell you all of them. Let me check the WhatsApp group. Okay. It is a must, must not, can't, okay. could, could not, might, might not, may, may not, should, and should not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. It's easier, it's easier uh, uh, to, to look in the, in the WhatsApp or to look at the video because there it gives you all of them. But in this case, it's how, how certain or how big is your, how strong is your opinion, okay? So okay. If, I go, if I go to the bank and at, uh, I don't know, at eight o'clock and the bank is closed, I assume, okay, the bank must open at nine, nine o'clock. It's not an obligation for them to open at nine. It's only my assumption. It's only what I, my opinion is, what I think. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. Go ahead. I'll let okay. you try. Okay. Something like to keep uh, all the dogs on the street, like safe. And they were asking for medicine and um, food and I don't know. What else? Yes. So th they had they had to be ready for 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 feed them and keep them at their house. Is that okay, teacher? <laughs> they had to be ready to feed them and to keep yes. them in their house. Yes. Okay. They have 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 in in present right had. or or had H A D in the past. Mm -hmm. So imagine I have, I don't know, three dogs, okay? Okay. So, okay, so I have the, the three dogs that we're talking about, the, the pets. So we say that you assume that I like animals. It's not an obligation, but you, mm -hmm. think, I like, you think I like animals. So this is where you use, ah, you must like animals. Okay, yeah. that's, that's how we use it. It's because we're, you're giving your opinion, but as an obligation, I must buy food for them. <laughs> is, mm -hmm. is, this is different. Um, otherwise, they will be dead. Otherwise, they will be dead. Exactly. That's the difference. Because some people have animals for a business. They don't, oh, like, yes. they don't like the animals. They only mm -hmm. buy the animals and they have them to sell them. But it's not because they are animal lovers. No. Mm -hmm. For example, if I tell you, um, I have rabbits. <laughs> oh. What do you think? You think, oh, it's so sweet. It's so nice. Maybe you want to eat, eat them. I, I, <laughs> I eat them. 
Oh, last... yeah, because people eat it's delicious. Rabbit, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. last week. In oh, the oven. No. I don't like rabbit meat. Yeah, uh -huh. barbecue. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Are you in the oven? Oh, yum. In the oven too. I'm gonna try Oscar the next time. You put a bed of, of potatoes and then you put the rabbit. Um, delicious, you see? Delicious. It's, it's like chicken. Meat is meat. Yeah. It's better mm. than chicken. meat. Yeah, a lot no. of people consume consume rabbit. Yeah. It doesn't have chukia. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, good. Good. <laughs> I lost track of the time, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no problem. No problem. That's good. As you can see, it's many times it's really fast. The the time only for us to practice and when you yeah, feel, it flies. We only practice two, three exercises, and between me, my partner, and the other speaking and opinion, and that's it. How, yeah. how much time? How much time do we get to practice uh, when we go to a, a two person or three? How much, um, how, how much is the time we get? That depends on the exercises. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the exercises are 15 minutes. Other times they are 10 minutes. Other times they are 20 minutes. Depend how difficult or how much time you need. For example, okay. at, the, at the beginning of the class, usually I only give you five minutes just to catch up, to talk, or five to 10 minutes, and that's it. And then we have 15 minutes for the other two exercises, and that's it. And that's 50 minutes and yeah. in 10 minutes me and explaining the class is the, over. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. That's Coach, it. Yeah. Coach, yeah. I'm, also, I'm also having like issues again with the platform. I cannot get in. Okay, all right. Are you the one who wrote to in the WhatsApp group? Yes, Did, yes, it was me. Okay. Did you have never been responded? <laughs> no, 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 but I, they, they, is that the one? I, they, I, did they respond they, to you? They, they got in touch with me with a different uh, WhatsApp number. Uh, okay, <laughs> and they send me. Ah, huh? you wrote lucky me. You. A lucky me, yeah. You also trying? Yeah, they they never they never call me. They never shot me. I, I'm just a little bit concerned about you know uh, not doing the homework and falling too far behind. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I I think it's time to call the 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 office um, because it's if if they don't solve your problem for tomorrow, it's time to call English. Uh, uh, you know, uh, at, at their home office, and that would be the easiest one. Okay, because uh, I don't know if the issue is with my email address. Because uh, see, what happened is when when I when I enter the first for the first time, I didn't know that it, the the password was one two three four five. No one told no one told me that, and I think I enter a new password. I I enter my own password. And I think that's what the the problem oh. is, uh huh. Because I think it's it record that, and it it will not it will not let me go in anymore because I kind of you try several times probably. I, that's I have what happened. yeah, I have done that. Yeah, that's definitely that's it. That's why you got to check those emails. But don't worry. That's why in the WhatsApp group, Elena put the phone office the phone number for the cell phone and for the office number. That way you can I, contact both. Okay. All right. In, in the WhatsApp group, which one? The, the one uh, I joined the other day? There's only one WhatsApp group. So whichever. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay <laughs> so the, the, phone, the phone number must be there. But when, when I was added to the group. It's, it, the phone number was there today at, let me see. What time is it there? At 1035 in the morning. 1035. Okay. Yep. Okay, I will go back and, and check on that right. because, I mean, I, I don't think I have that many issues with completing the, the platform because I know it's going to be a, a easy task for me. All right. But, um, Just contact the office and make sure we get it cleared, okay? That's the most yeah. important. I sure, right. I sure don't want to, like, you know, you guys move on and me, you know, stay, stay back just because of that. Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys, have a great night. We'll continue again tomorrow. Hey, teacher. Okay. All right. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.